हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम श्वेता शुक्ला असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन अप्लाइड साइंस डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ काइट ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ नैनो मटीरियल एंड इट एप्लीकेशन पार्ट टू इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द फॉलोइंग कंटेंट एलोट्रॉप ऑफ कार्बन स्ट्रक्चर एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ग्रिफाइड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ग्रिफाइड स्ट्रक्चर एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फुलरीन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फुलरीन कार्बन बेस्ड नैनो मटीरियल इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी लर्न अबाउट द नैनो मटीरियल द नैनो कंपोनेंट मेडअप ऑफ प्योर कार्बन आर नोन एज कार्बन बेस्ड नैनो मटीरियल द वेरियस फिजिकल फॉर्म्स इन विच एन एलिमेंट कैन एग्जिस्ट आर नोन एज एलोट्रॉप द कार्बन एलोट्रॉप आर एग्जिस्ट इन टू फॉर्म्स amorphous and crystalline the amorphous structures have no regular geometry for example coal charcoal etc and in crystalline in which there is regular geometry for example diamond graphite fullerene diamond is colorless transparent hardest known natural substance graphite graphite is second allotrop of carbon it is the natural form of carbon with the chemical formula c and it characterized by hexagonal crystalline structure in which carbon carbon bonding is in between whole the substance is same in graphite each carbon is sp2 hybridized is linked with three other carbon atom in the plane to form flat hexagon layer these layers can slide one over another graphite is of two types natural graphite synthetic graphite natural graphite is also known as beta graphite it is found in hexagonal form synthetic graphite it is prepared synthetically and known as alpha graphite it is found in rhombohedral form structure of graphite graphite has a layered planar structure in each layer the carbon atom are arranged in a hexagonal lattice with the separation of 1.42 angstrom carbon carbon distance the distance between the planes or we can say the layer is 3.41 angstrom the carbon carbon distance here we can see 3.41 angstrom and here within the layer it is 1.42 angstrom these two flat surfaces of graphite are loosely bonded and they are bonded with a weak force van der waal force properties of graphite graphite has a high melting point similar to that of diamond the melting point of graphite is 3700 degree celsius in order to melt graphite it is not enough to loosen one sheet from one another which are bonded with van der waal forces we have to break the covalent bonding throughout the whole structure this can be explained because of the strong overlap of sigma bond within the carbon atom in the plane because in plane they are bonded with covalent bond and in interlamellar spacing they are bonded with van der waal forces these are the weak forces but covalent bond are the strong bonds in graphite carbon carbon bond are all equal in length and intermediate between normal single and double bond it can be explained by noting that graphite has many different but equivalent resonating structure properties of graphite we can see there is number of properties which have uh, excellent character in graphite graphite is a good conductor of heat and electricity this can be understood by looking at the loosely bounded fourth electron of each carbon because of the delocalization of one of the outer electron of each atom to form a pi cloud graphite conduct electricity graphite is a soft slippery substance attributed to the fact that the layer are not chemically bonded they can slide one over the 
another because they are loosely bonded with van der Waal forces as I said in previous slide. Density of graphite is 2.2 gram per centimeter cube. It has a lower density than diamond because the relatively large amount of space that is wasted between the sheets of graphite. Applications of graphite. They are used for manufacturing of electrodes in cells, for the manufacturing of lubricant because it is soft and greasy. It is used for making pencil lids, used for moderating speed of electron in nuclear reactor which is used for the generation of electricity as cathodic material in zinc carbon and lithium ion batteries as coating for defense, marine and space applications in composite material for aerospace purposes. Fullery Allotrope of carbon having the shape of hollow sphere it is the third allotrope of carbon. In diamond and graphite the total number of carbon atom are not fixed. But in case of fullerene, the number of carbon atom are fixed. Some common examples are C70, C72, C60, C74, C76, C82, etc. Fullerene were discovered experimentally for the first time by a group of scientists at Rice University, Huston, Texas in September 1985. C60 molecule was named Buckminster Fullerene or Buckyball after the American architect R. Buckminster Fuller, who constructed geodesic dome on the same structural principles. Preparation of fullerene. Fullerene can be prepared by evaporating the graphite electrode in inert atmosphere at 0 0.01 to 0 0.5 atmospheric pressure. It forms soot. The necessary condition for the preparation of fullerene is inert atmosphere because carbon reacts with oxygen and forms carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. The mixture of fullerenes like C60, C72, C70, C80, C82, C84 are formed which are separated individually by extraction method. Pure C60 separated by column chromatography. In 1996, Curl, Croto and Smelly was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their discovery of fullerene. Structure of fullerene A truncated icosahedron geometry. Icosahedron is a polygon with 60 vertices and 32 phases, 12 of which are pentagon and 20 of hexagon. We can see from the structure. There is a pentagon which is surrounded with the hexagon. The beauty of the structure is that no two pentagon are in contact with each other. Every pentagon is surrounded by hexagon. In C60, carbon atoms are arranged in closed case like structure like Chaucer ball. Each carbon atom on the case surface is bonded to three carbon neighbors. Therefore, sp2 hybridized as graphite. Properties of fullerene. Fullerene is odorless, mustard color solid. It is insoluble in polar solvent but soluble in aromatic solvents and also soluble in carbon disulfide. It is very tough and thermally stable. It reacts with organic donor to form soft ferromagnet. Compound C60 K3 we have as a superconductor up to very high temperature. It has highest tensile strength. Applications of fullerene as a lubricant in the molecular ball bearing TDA C60 used as a soft ferromagnet used in electronic, microelectronic and optical devices it is used as a superconductor in medical applications such as antioxidant, antimicrobial agent and for drug delivery purposes. Nanorobots formed by the fullerene for targeted drug delivery. Antibacterial 
due to the redox and chemical reactivity in solar cells in sensors in photovoltaics and in water purification these are the major applications of fullerene thank you